Well, good morning, friends. And actually, more like good afternoon, because it's going to be noon before I post this. Um, speaking of mornings, I'm having a bad hair day. I can't. I can't. I can't. I tried to fix it and everything. And you know what? I relate to all of you who've ever had one of those. So, see? It's like floofing up weird. You know, I just need a haircut. So, unfortunately, I won't be dyeing my hair blue, because there's no way on earth at this rate 80% of you guys will be able to finish the Bible reading. But you should do it! Because right now you guys have a perfect opportunity to catch up. I've been catching up since, like I said, I fell behind. And I am now within like two days. So it's doable. I believe in you guys. Let's go ahead and read from the Psalms this morning. Uh, Psalm chapter 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me with your wrath. For your arrows have snuck into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no health in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. My wounds stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bound down and prostrate. All the day I go about mourning. For my sides are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and crushed. I groan because of the turmoil, tumult of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is before you. My sighting is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, it's, it also has gone from me. My friends and companions stand aloof from my plague, and my nearest kin stand afar off. Those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek my hurt speak of ruin and meditation and meditate treacherous, treacherously all day long. But I am like a deaf man. I do not hear. Like a mute man who does not open his mouth. I have become like a man who does not hear and in whose mouth are no, are no rebukes. But for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who will answer. For I said only, let them not rejoice over me, who boast against me when my foot slips. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever before me. I confess my iniquity. I am sorry for my sin. But my foes are vigorous. They are mighty. And many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good, accuse me because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O God, O my, O Lord, O my God. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. So, you know, actually today I haven't heard any other prayer requests, but continued things to pray for. We need to keep praying for Andrea, for the, the um, Blowerts with some of the medical stuff going on in their family. We can continue to pray for the Gruens as they're getting ready to move and uh, the Hilkemans as they're getting ready to move. Uh, we can pray for my, you know, that. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to pray for that because it's not worth praying for. Uh, I'm praying for you guys this week. This is officially day two of spring break, so hopefully you guys are doing some fun things. Hopefully you're able to get some rest from the weirdness of the online schooling. I know kids at Rampart, you guys were doing that. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully things will settle here over the next few weeks and, uh, you know, praying for all of you. So let's pray real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, God, I thank you so much. I thank you so much for who you are and for your inspired word that is able to speak to us in time of, of difficulty and in time of gladness. Lord, I want to pray for the Blowards as they continue to face some of these difficulties in their family. Lord, I pray for Calvin uh, being cooped up at home and, and not being able to go out. I pray for... Um, Mr. Blowert's uncle, and I pray for Mrs. Blowert with losing her grandma, and I pray you would just continue to comfort, comfort and guide them. God, I want to pray for those who are moving soon, especially with the uncertainty of how long this social weirdness will last. And Lord, I pray for the Hilkemans and for the Gruens who are planning on moving this summer, uh, that you would just be with them, help them to prepare all the things that they need. Lord, we also, again, just want to continue and eagerly pray for Andrea as um, she's really unsure about her future with traveling home. And Lord, we pray that you would provide a time 
you would keep her safe while traveling, but Laura, that you would also just give her and her family wisdom on how to best interact with this situation when it comes to getting her home. Lord, I do just want to pray for this spring break. I pray, Lord, that it would be a time of rest, that it would be a time for students to feel encouraged and uplifted and, and restful. And Lord, we just pray that you would uh, help this time to be smooth. Lord, I pray for all the teachers and, and all of these students as they're preparing to do online schooling for a few weeks potentially, or, or maybe not, Lord, however the rest of the school year goes. And Lord, we pray that you would just help all of that transition to be done well and in good order. And I pray all these things in Christ's name. Amen. There was some movement outside, so I thought I would check it out. So, all right, I care about all of you guys. Hopefully this video finds you well as it does find me well making this video because it does. So we'll see you guys later.